<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today I introduce you to Super Metroid. What some of you might not know is that Super Metroid is actually a sequel to the FPS Prime games that released back on the Nintendo GameCube and the Nintendo Wii. This game has everything you'd ever want from a 2D side scroll. It's got spaceships, a crazy chicken armor who blows things up, a giant bird, Aliens, more aliens, underwear, bosses, underwear, bigger bosses, doors, underwear. What's not to love? Like every Metroid game, except for Federation, of course, you play as the renowned bounty hunter Samus Aran, who follows a baby Metroid back to the planet Zebes, or Zebes. Uh, listen, basically, he was kidnapped by a giant bird from earlier, and yada yada. We have Super Metroid. The first minutes of this game start off very quiet and eerie, and it really delivers on the sense of being alone. But fast forward about 20 minutes and things start to get a little more interesting once you reach the green area. If you've never played a single Metroid game, let me sum the games up for you. Every Metroid game makes heavy use of upgrades, and I mean heavy use, in order to access new areas of the world which were previously locked to you. For instance, if you want to open this red door, you gotta find the missile upgrade and shoot it five times. You want to swing on this thing like some sort of monkey, you gotta find the grapple beam. I appear to be in a situation. How about run underwater? Well, you gotta find the gravity suit just for that. Playstyle like this is what helps spark its subgenre of games known as Metroidvania, which basically stands for Metroid and Castlevania. These two games very heavily use this feature of upgrading the backtracking to access new areas, and it inspired more a-holes to do the same thing in big games like Ori, Guacamelee, Jedi Fallen Order, and G Gato Robato. Wow, that is a total rip. Super Metroid throws a complete curveball that nobody expected back in 1994. You see, once you get to this area, the game introduces the things of f***ing nightmares. Nope. I'm done. <laughs> if you can eventually muster the strength to push past these f***ing things, then the game slaps you with fighting this confused creature who tries to impregnate you with its burning blue balls. Oh god. Oh god. I'll give credit where credit is due, because Super Metroid is a fantastic game with brilliant level design, an awesome soundtrack, and even intense boss fights at times. typically like side the scrollers, but Super Metroid has earned my official seal of approval. And if you decide to give this game a shot, just make sure you watch out for these stupid pieces of shit.